it's all too easy to hold on to what you know and love the most, but in doing so, you can become blinded to the other goodies waiting in the wings. I get it, you love your Gran Turismo games, but believe me when I say there are plenty of other vehicle-based games out there worth a play, even if they're not all strictly racing orientated. Here are 10 games you should play if you love Gran Turismo. Number 10. Rocket League Rocket League isn't a racing game, it's all about using cars to play crazy football, or soccer if you're in the land of the free, but if players love Gran Turismo simply because they love being behind the wheel and enjoy all things automobiles, then this is a wild and crazy experience, and quite unlike anything else out there, and could be the break away from cars without completely breaking away from cars that you need. Number 9. Twisted Metal just like Rocket League, Twisted Metal is another car game that has nothing to do with racing. Quite the opposite, it's all about destruction and destroying other cars. Still, for car fanatics who love everything to do with driving on four wheels, it's definitely a break from the same old style of racing that car games are expected to deliver. Number 8. Star Wars Episode 1 Racers when it comes to racing games, there are only so many vehicles that can be used, but science fiction blows this concept wide open. In terms of Star Wars, that means using pod racers from Episode 1. These pod racers move extremely fast, much faster than any real life car, so it's definitely a more intense experience than a simple car racing game. Number 7. Hydro Thunder People tend to think that race car drivers are crazy for doing something so completely dangerous. However, boat racing is even more crazy, and that's the whole premise behind Hydro Thunder. Because boat racing can be so dangerous in real life, it's often toned down. Hydro Thunder has no qualms about bucking realism in favour of intense boat racing action. It's a very fun game that holds up surprisingly well today given the game's age. Number 6. F-Zero F-Zero is a video game classic that fans of the genre already know and love. It's pretty much a car racing game except with a very futuristic and sci-fi edge. Its cars don't have wheels, rather they hover. Where Gran Turismo tends to limit how much attention its drivers get, F-Zero bucks the trend by going in the opposite direction and giving fans faces that they can get to know. Number 5. Mario Kart of course, it's extremely hard to make a list of racing games without including Mario Kart in one form or another. In many ways, Mario Kart is everything that Gran Turismo isn't. It features popular fictional characters driving go-karts and shooting items at each other while driving around fantastical racetracks. However, Mario Kart has become such a staple in not just the world of racing games, but the world of gaming entirely, that it's hard to ignore. Even Gran Turismo fans can find something to enjoy about this franchise. Number 4. Cruisin'. Besides featuring awesome vehicles, another great part about racing games is the various locations where these races take place. Fantasy locations are always fun, but there's something special about grounding the races in the real world, which is what Gran Turismo specialises in. However, the Cruisin' series makes it a priority to take players away from the norm. Originally starting as an arcade game that eventually got ported for console releases, it's had several different installments over the years, but they each prioritise bringing players to unique locations around the globe. Number 3. Project Gotham Racing In many ways, Project Gotham Racing was the reciprocal racing series for the Xbox that Gran Turismo is for the PlayStation. They both put an emphasis on a lot of the same things. They both ground their games in a very realistic setting and feature real-life cars rather than anything fantastical or fictional. Project Gotham Racing also has a stunt point system that promotes style and flair alongside speed and strategy. The series had a bit of a hiccup after its developer was bought out, but it still remains a great part of the early Xbox era. Number 2. Need for Speed Need for Speed is a series that has remained consistently strong since its first release way back in 1994. Like similar games on the list, it focuses on grounded realism for its gameplay, rather than any fantastical cars or settings. But it does lean more towards illegal street racing, whereas most games have a more formal system around their racing structure. The series has become such a success, it's branched off into other media, including Hot Wheels toys and even a film adaptation that pipped Sony's Gran Turismo movie to the silver screen by several years. Number 1. Forza 
As Project Gotham Racing kind of faded away as the Xbox's main racing game, Forza took its place. The Forza games are essentially divided into two different genres, with motorsport feeding the sim lovers and Horizon giving the arcade racing fans a lot to chew on with its open-ended, open-world setting. Horizon even has a little bit of story to its structure that provides a more rounded experience. For fans of Gran Turismo, there is no Xbox competition quite like what Forza offers. And that is our list. Of course, there are plenty of other racing games. I've got 10 more off the top of my head that didn't make this list, so go on down below to the comments and share your suggestions. While you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and don't forget to give the bell a ding so that you get notified whenever we've got new stuff for you to watch. I've been Chris, you've been gorgeous, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, cheers my dears.